In government laboratories, the search is on for a poultry vaccine that may bring Vietnam's latest bird flu outbreak under control. Scientists are testing old and new formulas, hoping one will work against a new strain of the H5N1 virus that's been killing ducks and chickens. We have seen that this virus is spreading uh, in, in, the, in the country, uh, I think, um, I think a, a little bit quickly than the other virus. Because it, within two months, we, we have found this virus in many provinces in the north of Vietnam. At the moment, the only option available for farmers is to spray their properties with disinfectant. So far, almost 200,000 birds have been culled since the new strain appeared in July. Vietnam's had several outbreaks since the original virus was first discovered in 2003. Some farmers have changed the way they operate, trying to restrict the movement of their birds and prevent them from coming into contact with infected animals. But the latest outbreak is still making them nervous. I'm worried. My birds are vaccinated against other strains, so hopefully I won't have any problems. Two people have died in Vietnam this year, resulting from coming into contact with infected birds. But that was caused by a different flu strain. Any large-scale outbreak will also have an effect on Vietnamese here at the marketplace, where prices are already on the rise. Duck and chicken meat and eggs form a large part of the Vietnamese diet, but the ultimate fear is that bird flu caused by an H5N1 strain like this new one may one day mutate into a form transmitted easily from human to human with potentially catastrophic results. This particular variant, as I have said, has shown no tendency yet to actually even transmit from bird to human. If there, was the, if there is the potential to transmit to human to human, I think we would be very um, aware of that. The Vietnamese say the new strain probably came from China, but whatever its origins, the authorities are trying hard to make sure the virus doesn't make further inroads into the millions of birds that are farmed across Vietnam. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Hanoi.